October approaches, the nights draw nearer, and weird ghouls and other creatures wander the street in search of I in a innocent, uh, pe Cut! That was fucking terrible. What? That, no, that, that was, seriously, I, I'm never asking you to do this again. What do you mean? It was a pretty good job. No, it, it really wasn't. You, you didn't even stick to the script I set you. You're fired. Go away. Yes. Hello, and welcome to the monthly Oyatsu box opening. As you can tell by the background there, this is a Halloween-themed uh, box. At least according to the website. They haven't actually told us much about what's in this box, apart from there's a apparently interesting drink, and the gacha is a familiar character in a Halloween theme. Don't know what those are about, but let's go and open it up and see what's inside. Okay, I'm back. I opened it up. I didn't think you guys wanted to see me open up a box particularly. Ooh, and we have... This is this month's uh, little booklet that'll tell us what's in the snacks, and that says... Halloween. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. If anyone knows what Halloween is, uh, let me know in the comments. No, I do not. That's... Ah, oh, there's, there's quite a cute little illustration there of things. And that's the candy apple DIY kit, apparently. Put this to the side, because obviously we're not going to look into it. Otherwise, that will spoil the surprise. And the... Ooh, hang on. And we also have the card. And this one is Halloween. So if you do want to know how to write Halloween in Katakana, there it is. I'll probably keep that somewhere, along with the card that I had last month. And the crate paper is ooh, purple and mysterious this month and has a little white spot on it because it's Halloween. Oh, it's gone now. Okay, so without further ado, I'm sure you guys don't want me looking at the crate paper and stuff. Let's pull out these items. Now, as with last month, I'll pull, a, pull out an item, have a quick look at it, then I'll jump cut to when I've read on this little booklet as to exactly what it is. And first up, we have... Uh, po pons ponsuke. Po okay, I'll have a look and I'll be right back. Okay, uh, I'm back and I ac I was actually completely correct there. These are ponsuke deep fried crackers in sweet and soy sauce flavor, I believe. I did actually have to go check that and I was correct. So these are obviously the Halloween versions with. I'm assuming that's the mascot, maybe, or those are, but they look like pumpkins. Someone's wearing a top hat and a bow tie, which is lovely. That's the back. There's the... Ah, can you tell the difference between these two images? If you can, let me know in the comments below. I'm not going to do it myself, but it's always nice to know. Oh, and there's a little happy ghost there. Well, that's pretty cool. I like me some rice crackers. Let's jump into the next one. And this is... This is the Candy Apple DIY kit, which we've already seen on the back of here with the instructions. And this is the basic instructions here. It's like a lot of candy DIY kits. Basically, you kind of pour things into a small tray and then you kind of mould things and dip them in. It's a little bit like last month, I think, in that you've got the dips and you've got the gummy things there. That's pretty cool. Next up is ooh, this, ooh, which feels like a lollipop, actually. Let's see. Okay, so this is actually Caplico Mini, apparently, and you can't really tell from the video here, but it's shaped like an ice cream cone, but it's kind of puffy and cone and got chocolate in it. This, obviously, is the Halloween version, with all the little ghosts and Frankenstein, I get That's a very cute Frankenstein, actually. Hats off to them. That's pretty interesting. Let's see, what is the next one? It is... Oh, I believe this is an Umaibo stick, because that is the Umaibo person. I believe his name is Umaibo. What flavour is this? This is Potage flavour, or Potage. I'm not quite sure. I've seen it written down before, but never actually pronounced. I think it's a regular flavour of Umaibo, but obviously he is dressed as a witch. Let's delve back in and pull out this. Seems like jelly beans, I think. Lovely Halloween. What a lovely Halloween we're having. And this is cream colon. Just going to go check and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so this is actually an apple flavour of cream column. They're kind of like biscuity things with some cream inside. I don't think I had any last month, but I have had them before. So this obviously is the exclusive Halloween apple flavour after candy apples. That's pretty darn cool. What is the next item? Here's another cylindrical thing, and this is... Ooh, this is for you! Actually, I don't know where it is. Let's go check it out. This is Chocobat. So this is apparently quite an old snack. Uh, they've been selling it in Japan since 1964. It's kind of a doughy stick or something covered in chocolate. And of course, as you can tell from the packaging, this is also Halloween themed. In fact, I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'll say most things in here are going to be Halloween themed. Crazy, I know. Ooh, we have... This is interesting. It looks like a biscuity donut. Uh, donuts? What am I on about? A uh, crackery kind of thing with... Is that muck? Is that Grimer? <gasps> that's a Lolan Grimer! Oh my god! That's really cool! <gasps> what is this? Okay, I'm back. This is the Halloween Hoshi Tab Tabeo, which is apparently some kind of cracker, and each of them have a different Pokemon on the front. That is really cool. I really like a Lolan Grimer and muck. Um, yeah, that's... Wow, it's it's super like low key as well. It's not got the Pokemon stuff all over it, but ah, oh, that's really cool. Genuinely, one of my favorite things just for the packaging there. What is up next? Ooh, okay, let's grab this thing. Okay, it's a koala of sorts in a witch's hat, and there's some pumpkins and stuff. Okay, these are apparently koala no march which are little crackers stuffed with chocolate cream. And again, as with running themes, these are all dressed in Halloween. Honestly, I really like the fact that so many of these Japanese snacks have a Halloween theme to them, because over here we don't really get that, apart from like one or two things if a crisp company is big enough. Ooh, okay, what is this? That was the right way. This is something cream. Uh, sh shimi con. This is shimmy chocolate in a mint flavour. Great for trick-or-treating, according to the insert there. And we've got a lovely little rainbow star in a witch's hat. That's interesting. Quite like mint flavoured stuff. So I'm cool with that. Okay, there's a... Oh, hang on, actually. There is a smaller thing before that. That is a ghost with something in its mouth. Is that a ghost from something? I don't think it is. But let's have a look. Okay, so this is one of two uh, melon pan cookies, apparently. If you don't know what melon pan is, it's kind of a Japanese baked thing with cookie dough that tastes kind of a bit like lem melon, so we'll probably find another one of these somewhere. Ah, that's probably it. Let's see. Yes, it is. We have a ghost eating it, and we have a pumpkin eating it. That's lovely. Um, Never actually tried melon pan, so I'm quite looking forward to that. Okay. Oh. Now, I'm going to guess this is some kind of candy corn. These are potico, not puraco. I am wrong again. These are kind of ring-shaped potato snacks. They're kind of just plainly salted or whatever, but I do like I do like when crisps come in hoops. Uh, I don't know why. That doesn't make them taste any better. But that's really cool. I'll put that behind them. Let's see how many more stuff are there. Oh, okay. So we got the drink. And the drink is... Melon, uh, okay, sorry, I had a little read there. I think it says melon cream soda, so I'm going to go double check and I'll be right back. Okay, I was actually correct. This is melon cream soda and apparently originated in Japan around 1900. So it's quite an old drink, but hopefully it's still in sell by date. Hey! But no, this is a cool can. It's not actually Halloween themed, which is surprising, actually. Not that that's a bad thing. I do love trying different types of Japanese drink. I am a fiend for Ramune, so this is really cool. Can't wait to try it. What is next? Okay, we've got this thing, which is... Uh, this is Black Thunder, according to the thing. This is apparently a very popular ch uh, chocolate bar in Japan, and obviously has some Halloween stuff. I think it's just the regular chocolate bar with Halloween wrapping, so that is really cool. I do like orange, orange is one of my favourite colours, and pumpkins and stuff, so it's a cool bit of decoration there. Now I think 
we are quite near the end here. I don't know where those are. Right, um, let's check. This is Kapi Ramune, uh, K-U-P-P-Y, and has been sold in Japan since 1950. It comes from the Nagoya region, apparently. These are their two symbols there, obviously dressed up for Halloween. I guess they're kind of really small, um, disc kind of chalky uh, sweets, that taste of Ramune or something. Obviously, as with all of these products, I will be doing a food review in two or three weeks' time once I've eaten everything. So I'll let you guys know what this tastes like. And I believe the last thing is this capsule. What could it be? I'll undo the sellotape and I'll be right back. So I am back. Let's open up the capsule and see what's inside. Can we tell from the paper what this is? Oh my god! No way! It's Mimikyu! Oh! So if you saw my video I put up last week, I believe, it was um order of stuff I got from Japan. And one of those figures was Mimikyu, because I love it so much. It, the design is just amazing. So you can get Mimikyu lying down, kind of on the way up, up, and wearing kind of an uh, outfit, and I guess... Oh, okay, so it's got some, like, trash kind of things you can take off or something. Well, let's see. Which one did I get? I'll open it up off camera. I can't see it either, so... Oh, okay, it's actually open already. We got... Yay! Okay, so we got the kind of... Okay, sorry about that. Uh, right, I'm back. So I don't know if you can see it very well, but that is eyes shining there, and this is it attacking with its claw that comes from underneath. That is really cool, because I've got a Mimikyu figure as well that I'll probably be displaying it next to. Actually, I'll take a photo and show you how they scale up. But man, this is really, really cool. Definitely, I think, the highlight of this box. Not that anything's been disappointing or anything. But man, I love Mimikyu. It's, well, as I've said, it's a fantastic Pokemon anyway. And ah. Oh, that and that just tops it out. This 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 snack box I think so far has been my favourite of the two. I know that's not particularly hard, but you know what I mean. That has been phenomenal. Right, I'm gonna sort everything out in a lovely display and then I'm gonna wrap everything up. Be right back. Okay, I'm back and I've arranged everything as you can see here. And honestly, it feels to me like I got a lot more in this month's Oyatsu box than I did last month. I could be wrong, of course. So I'm just going to put this little thing there. So, you know, there's the Halloween one. I may even take a screenshot of this to make it the thumbnail. But, yeah, got to say, I am completely, really impressed with this uh, this month thing. I do love Halloween stuff anyway, but just the fact that all of the snacks are Halloween themed and the fact there's a mimic you that came with it. Ah, oh, this has genuinely really been worth it. And of course, if you do want to get one of your own, I'll leave a link to the website below. It is just called Oyatsu Box. I think they ship worldwide, I can't remember. If you check out their site, you'll read up on it anyway. And of course, if you did get it as well, then please do feel free to leave a comment. Or if you just want to comment on the stuff in it, maybe you've tried some before, you'd really like to try some, let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. And of course, if you do want to see me review the food in two or three weeks' time and I've had a chance to eat all of it, then maybe subscribing would be a good idea because you'll be notified when that comes out. And of course, if you did enjoy this video, then maybe give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It's up to you. Because I always like curing if people enjoy. And that about wraps it up for this episode. As I said, stay tuned for my snack reviews. I will be putting up other videos in the future. And until next time, goodbye!